मेन चैनल पे किस पे हेलो स्टूडेंट्स अ वेरी वेरी गुड इवनिंग टू एवरीबॉडी माय नेम इज अंकित शर्मा एंड आई वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू एट द एसएससी एग्जाम्स इन इंग्लिश मीडियम बाय द वन एंड ओनली एग्जाम्पर सो द नेम ऑफ आवर चैनल इज एसएससी एग्जाम्स बाय एग्जाम्पर इन इंग्लिश मीडियम ओके एवरीबॉडी माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स प्लीज हरी अप प्लीज क्विकली ज्वाइन अस बिकॉज टूडे फाइनली इज द डे वेन द एस एस सी नोटिफिकेशन विल बी आउट okay everybody so today is the day when the ssc chsl notification is expected to be released because today is the much much awaited day 6th of december the ssc chsl notification can be out any time okay and we have all eyes on it we have also uh, we are also monitoring it as and when it will be out we would be the first ones who will be informing you okay everybody so we have all our eyes at the notification at the ssc uh, website as and when the notification is out i am promising you we would be the first one who will be out with the detailed discussion okay everybody we are expecting a bit of changes some of the upgradations in line of ssc cgl exam but obviously it's worthless to say right now let the notification be out then it would be the appropriate moment when we would be commenting on it okay everybody i hope it is very clear and now moving ahead guys i hope all of you are ready see today we are going to solve blood relation so what is the topic that we are going to focus upon today that is blood relation my dear students have a look at this blood relation now many people will ask that so what is the weightage of this particular topic sam moses good evening and welcome so as you all are well aware this is one of the oldest topics direction in blood relation these twin topics were asked in the very first exam of ssc cgl and till now they are being asked and in the future also they will be asked in some or the other forms the difficulty level can vary it can increase or decrease the types varieties can vary but it will be there it will be there guys the weightage of this particular topic as per the last your strengths is up to three questions so what is the weightage of this particular topic in your exam it's up to up to three means that the upper limit the upper ceiling is three questions now my dear students have a look at the thought of the day the thought of the day is very special it says be patient in the storm and focus on the sunshine after yes my dear students be patient in the storm and focus on the sunshine after some day it's not our day okay everything is going against us we try to do something positive something negative happens we try to move ahead we are thrown behind do not worry on such days sit quietly and do meditation do concentration okay this will give you enormous strength from within and now very soon the things will work out sunshine will be there sunshine refers to here over as good situation will come no matter how bad the situation is it will change for sure and when it will change not see your turn to come back and your comeback should be much much stronger and louder than the setback point to be noted okay everybody and now let us move ahead guys the very first question and the very first question your time starts quickly everybody try and solve these kind of questions guys these are extremely relevant and important for all of you quickly everybody hurry up see now these are the questions which are the oldest ones they have now more or less not completely not completely but more or less they have become obsolete obsolete means they are now seen lesser in comparison to earlier such kind of questions are best to be solved on your own take it on your own okay for example what do i mean by that pointing to a boy reena said something now take it on your own for example tell my father's only brother will be my what my father's only brother 
विल बी माई पैटर्नल अंकल माई फादर्स ओनली ब्रदर विल बी माई पैटर्नल अंकल एंड द ओनली चाइल्ड ओनली चाइल्ड ऑफ माई पैटर्नल अंकल बी इट सन ऑफ माई पैटर्नल अंकल और बी इट डॉटर ऑफ माई पैटर्नल अंकल द ओनली चाइल्ड ऑफ माई पैटर्नल अंकल विल बी माई कजन एंड देर फॉर द करेक्ट आंसर इज कजन ऑप्शन नंबर बी विल स्टैंड टू बी द राइट आंसर the next question guys time starts hurry up hurry up everyone the next question quickly everybody yes everyone please like and share the session okay it's very very important guys please like and share the session hurry up now i'm watching frequently the upcoming notification of ssc chsl okay and that's fine as of now it has not come now the time is up now the time is up now see now th there is a twist over here there is a twist over here and what is the twist what is the twist and that twist has clean bold you sam moses that twist has clean bold you why see my grandfathers first of all it is paternal grandfather or maternal grandfather it is not clear so first of all it is paternal grandfather or maternal grandfather is not clear now let us take it to be paternal grandfather first so firstly we are taking it to be paternal grandfather now my paternal grandfather's only son is not mentioned my paternal grandfather's only son is not mentioned my paternal grandfather's can have more than one son my paternal grandfather can have more than one son so my paternal grandfather's son can be my father or my paternal grandfather's son can also be my paternal uncle because my paternal grandfather's only son is not written and now if this is maternal grandfather so if it is maternal grandfather then my maternal grandfather's son will be my maternal uncle my maternal grandfather's son will be my maternal uncle and now just tell me guys just tell me just tell me now pointing to a photograph sheila said something and the crux of it is my grandfather's son so three cases have emerged if we take it to be paternal grandfather so my paternal grandfather's son can be my father or my paternal uncle if we take it to be maternal grandfather my maternal grandfather grandfather's son can be my maternal uncle and now he is the son so the only son he is the only son so now tell me the only son of my father will be my brother the only son of my father will be my brother the only son of my paternal uncle will be my cousin and also the only son of my maternal uncle also will be my cousin so the answer is two folds the answer is two folds two folds means any one of them it could be brother it could be cousin so therefore since more than one answer is there so therefore the correct answer the valid answer is cannot be determined all right everybody cannot be determined yes or no guys fine yes or no now moving ahead moving ahead guys the third question time starts quickly everybody quickly everyone now since now see in these kind of questions we have to draw the family tree now since we have to draw the family tree what we would be doing we would be denoting male person by the sign of plus female by the sign of minus and couple would be denoted by the sign of equals to 
So male by plus, female by minus and coupled by equals to. All right, everybody. Fine. Now see, J is the husband of K. J is the husband of K. Okay. So the moment we keep J is the husband of K. So K will be over here, the wife. Okay. Now very important. E who is the wife of N and mother-in-law of K. E who is the wife of N. So obviously it is the husband. E who is the wife of N and mother-in-law of K has only one grandson S. Now where is this grandson? Forget it. It's not our concern. Question is how is J related to N? J is the son. J is the son. And that's the correct answer. Option number C. I hope it is very clear. So this is how you will be dealing with such kind of questions. The next one. Quickly everybody, please like and share the session. Please like and share the session guys. Come on, hurry up. Quickly. Quickly everyone. Quickly. Now here, this is another very simple question and Sam Moss is very good. Keep it up. At least you are trying and trying good. Now see again, my dear students, uh, this is a question of blood relation. So now you will be denoting male by the sign of plus, female by the sign of minus and coupled by the sign of equals to. So male by the sign of plus, female by the sign of minus and coupled by the sign of equals to. And now my dear students, see. Now see, never start with such lines like this is the niece, and the niece or this is the nephew. Niece or nephew should not be used. D is the brother-in-law of F. D is the brother-in-law of F should again not be used. So you should start with direct lines. Like he is the daughter of A. He is the daughter of A and wife of F. So e is the daughter of A and wife of F. Now it is also telling you that C and A are siblings. C and A are siblings. Fine. Now B is the husband of A. Now if B is the husband of A, obviously A is the wife. Now see, very important. D is the brother-in-law of F. D is the brother-in-law of F. So if D is the brother-in-law of F, my dear students, D will be over here. D is the brother-in-law of F. Okay, everyone. Fine. Finally, G is the niece of D. So, G is the niece of D. This is the correct diagram. So, see, everything is being satisfied. So, basically, A and B are couples. Their daughter e is married to F. A is, uh, A is a sibling is C. E is brother is their D and E and F's uh, daughter is G. So, now if you just club everything, you will just go through it. See, so read each of the lines. It is satisfied. G is the niece of D. D is the brother-in-law of F. E is the daughter of A and wife of F. C and A are siblings and B is the husband of A. How is F related to B? F is the son-in-law. How is F related to B? F is the son-in-law. Answer is option number B. Answer is option number B. F is the son-in-law. All right, everybody. Getting it or not? Getting it or not? All right. Next, the fifth question. Time starts. Quickly, everyone. Hurry up. Sam, very good, the time is almost over. Now see, these kind of questions, they are one markers. One markers means whenever they will come, they will fetch you one mark easily. 
how you can deal with this question again take example on your own so rational introduced done as okay take it on yourself tell me my father's daughter will be my who my father's daughter will be my sister my father's daughter will be my sister and mother of my sister is my mother as well mother of my sister is my mother as well and brother of my mother is my mama ji my maternal uncle my mama ji my maternal uncle so the correct answer is option number a uncle okay so this these are super duper easy questions guys nothing you have to do okay fine everybody so i request everybody please like and share the session the sixth question please start please start guys try this one come on Levin Ho, hello and welcome. Hello and welcome, okay? Quickly, everybody. Now, say, my dear students, have a look at this. Have a look at this, guys. Now, what is being said over here? What is being said over here? Jessica female introduced Ben as. Now see, uh, again, uh, since it is a question of pointing towards someone type, since it is a question of pointing towards someone type, let us take the example on our own. Let us take the example on our own, okay? So Jessica female introduced Ben as, okay. Tell me guys, I'm taking the example on my own. I am Jessica female. I am Jessica a female. I am Jessica a female. Okay, and now what is being said? What is being said? M uh, my mother's husband. My mother's husband is my father. I am Jessica a male, a female. I am Jessica a female. And Jessica's mother's husband is none other than Jessica's father. Is none other than Jessica's father. And the only daughter of Jessica's father is Jessica itself because Jessica is female. Only daughter of Jessica's father is Jessica itself because Jessica is female and Ben is the son of Jessica. Ben is the son of Jessica and that is the correct answer. Option number B that is son. Alright, fine everybody. So Levin Ho, for that you will have to be a regular participant of our classes. Okay, it is not an overnight process. It's a long journey. I hope it is very clear. The next one. Seventh one guys. Quickly, everyone. Now see what is to be done over here. See what is to be done. Now a lady asked Matt, a lady asked Matt, what is his relation to Aroda to which he said. Okay, a lady asked Matt, what is his relation to Aroda to which he said. Okay, everybody, to which he said. Okay, so a lady asked Matt, what is his relation to Aroda to which he said. He. Okay, so that means what is the gender of Matt? What is the gender of Matt? The gender of Matt is male. Okay, a lady asked Matt what is his relation to Aroda to which he said. So this term his and he are referring to a male person which is Matt. Which is Matt. And now what does Matt say? 
what does matt say okay a lady asked matt what is his relation to roda to which he said aroda is the only sister of my daughter in law's husband so see matt is using the word my matt is using the word my and my daughter in law's husband is his son basically so matt's daughter in law's husband is basically none other than matt's son and aroda is the only sister aroda is the only sister so this is the point guys this is the point so a lady asked matt what is his relation to aroda to which he said that aroda is the own aroda aroda is the only sister of sister of whom my daughter in law's husband so what is the relationship between matt and aroda the relationship between matt and aroda is that of father and daughter is that of father and daughter father and daughter so answer is option number c the answer is option number c all right everybody fine now the next now from here the things will slightly change and we will come to some better level questions guys we will come to some better level questions now see before we move ahead before we come to the next set of questions have a look at this the example official app my dear students the example official app is the one stop solution for all the government job aspirants and when we say that we really mean that why what is the purpose what is the reason have a look at this what are the offerings that you get from our application which is a blessing a boon for students these days see we provide to you number 1 live paid courses live paid courses with test series we provide to you free subject wise and topic wise quizzes with report card we provide to you free job alert admit card and exam date we provide to you all exam previous year pdfs all exam previous year pdfs with solution we provide to you free all india scholarship test free with report card then we provide to you topic wise free live classes we provide to you free full length and sectional test with report card we provide you free exam wise pdfs and practice set pdfs we provide you daily weekly and monthly daily weekly and monthly current affairs and then towards the end we provide you unlimited subject wise practice questions here i will particularly like to highlight two points and that is number 1 all exam previous year pdf with solution it's very important for any student who is preparing for any exam it's very important and now now my dear students we will also provide you unlimited subject wise practice questions unlimited all right so be very very careful guys these two are extremely important and you will definitely be getting the benefit if you are able to install the app download the app okay now let us solve some other question types the paragraph form of questions for this i will be giving you 45 plus 45 90 second draw the diagram guys draw the diagram quickly everyone quickly everyone next 45 second next 45 second the ssc the hsl notification do not worry do not worry we are having an eye on that and yes you are correct yes you are correct guys uh, the ssc the hsl notification we will be giving you an update on that okay notification is out notification is out the ssc the hsl notification is out okay everybody quickly everyone we will start but obviously see let us first complete this let us first complete this we will not leave this in midway okay we will not leave this midway 
quickly. Now see, have a look at this. So whenever such a kind of question comes, whenever such a kind of question appears, see this is male, this is female and this is couple. This is couple, okay. So male, female and couple. Now have a look at this. A family consists of seven members. A family consists of how many members? Seven members. And is the father of L, okay? And is the father of L. A family consists of seven members and now N is the father of L. Now after that, G is the only sister of L. N is the father of L and G is the only sister of L and the child of M. Now see, here we have to get one more point over here. So N is the father of L, G is the only sister of L and the child of M. Child of M means this, okay? J is the father-in-law of M. Now if J is the father-in-law of M, J must be the father of N. That then only it can be father-in-law of M. Now O is the only daughter of J. O is the only daughter of J. O is the only daughter of J will be here. Now my dear students, one more thing. One, two, three, four, five. Some more persons are there. H is the son-in-law of J. So therefore H is the son-in-law of J will be over here. So now see. One, two, three, four, five, six and seven. So now you can get this or not. Are you getting this family tree or not? So now again have a look at this. See. A family consists of seven members. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six and seven. N is the father of L. G is the only sister of L and the child of M. Fine. J is the father-in-law of M. O is the only daughter of J. Okay. O is the only daughter of J. And H is the only, H is the son-in-law of J. H is the son-in-law of J. All right, everybody. Fine. So now the question is, who is the father of G? So if you are supposed to answer who is the father of G, so father of G is obviously N, father of G is N, so that is the right answer, option number D, that is N. Okay, fine everyone. Now moving ahead, moving ahead guys. Now see, it has two questions within it. So therefore I give you time also, no? 45 plus 45 seconds. Now see, it is asking find the odd one out. Odd one out means the one which is different from the others. So you can see N is a male person plus L is a person whose gender cannot be determined. H is a, a male person plus and J is also a male person plus. So all of them's gender is determined. They all are male. All of them are male except L whose gender cannot be determined. Okay. Now the next one. For this question again I will be giving you time. Take your time guys and try to solve this. Quickly everybody. Quickly everyone. Now see what is happening over here. Male will be denoted by the sign of plus, female by the sign of minus and couple by the sign of equals to. Couple by the sign of equals to, okay. Now see my dear students, have a look at this. Have a look at this. Now what is happening over here? So in a family of six persons, in a family of six persons whose names are given P, Q, R, S, T and U. Whose names are given P, Q, R, S, T and U. Okay. Yes, Arpit, I have already informed them. Arpit, I have already informed that the SSC CHSL notification is out. And I think uh, the session at 8 p.m., the Sanjay sir's session of maths will be converted into the notification session. Okay. If possible, then a 7.45 session of Sanjay sir can be done. If not possible, then at 8 Sanjay sir and I would be taking the session, okay. So now in a family of six persons, names have been given. So I will give you one more 45 seconds. Quickly everybody, quickly everyone, hurry up. Come on guys, please like and share the session. 
प्लीज लाइक एंड शेयर द सेशन गाइस हरी अप क्विकली सो क्विकली एवरी वन द टाइम इज ओवर नाउ द टाइम इज ओवर नाउ I was going through the SSC CTSL notification. Yes, changes are there. Good changes are there. Those changes should be welcomed. Now, see, before we come to that, let us complete this session. Okay, right thing is right at the right moment. So, let us first complete this, then we will move ahead. Now, see, in a family of six persons, the names are given. There are two married couples. Family of six persons, and there are two married couples. S is the grandmother of P. S is the grand. mother of p s is the grand mother of p and the mother of only q so this is the point s is the grand mother of p and the mother of only q r is the wife of q r is the wife of q that means q is the husband okay r is the wife of q and mother of you r is the wife of q and the mother of you u is the grand daughter of t u is the grand daughter of t now u is the grand daughter of t T must be over here. Why T must be over here? Because we have to ensure that there are two married couples. We have to ensure that. Otherwise, T could have been here also, the father of R. Okay, everybody. Fine, everyone. So now, Muskan. So are you able to see this? Muskan and Sam Moses. Have a look at this. So in a family of six persons, one, two, three, four, five, and six, there are two married couples. One and two. S is the grandmother of P and the mother of only Q. Okay, R is the wife of Q and the mother of U, and U is the granddaughter of T. U is the granddaughter of T. Now, how is S related to you? How is S related to you? Okay, so how is S related to you? S is the grandmother of you. S is the grandmother of you. All right, everybody. S is the grandmother of you. Option number A is the right answer. Now. my dear students the next question time starts so daily toppers sam moses muskan hurry up everybody quickly quickly everyone come on hurry up so see it has three questions within it question number 11 12 and 13 11 12 and 13 three questions within this so now the next one the next 45 second quickly everyone next 45 second next 45 second guys yes yes i know that dana d dana d we know that i have already conveyed that to the students we are going for a short session on that at maybe 8 okay if not before that quickly everybody sana anwar 
Sana Anwar. Very good. Very good. I'm giving you 45 more seconds and thereafter we will start. Okay, I, see, I think I have already given you enough time. Let me start. Let me start with the discussion. Okay. So now here, A, B, C, D, E, F, G and H are eight family members. Okay, so eight family members now. Very important. B is the only son of C. Here it is telling you that B is the only son of C. B is the only son of C. Now, here it is telling you A is married to C. A is married to C. B is the only son of C. A is married to C. Now, very, very important. A is daughter-in-law. D is the mother of K. A is daughter-in-law. D is the mother of K. Okay. Now, it is telling you that D has no siblings. D has no siblings. Means no real brother or sister. Now, J is the brother of K. J is the brother of K. Okay. J is the brother of K. Now, K's aunt is married to H. Now, K is the auntie. Now, D does not have brother or sister. So, K's aunt E is married to H will be over here. And now, this is the family tree, guys. So, there is only one simple golden rule of family tree. The ones who belong to the prior generation would be at the top. The ones who belong to the later generation would be at the bottom. The ones who belong to the same generation will be at the same level. All right, everybody. So now, my dear students, A to H are eight family members. B is the only son of C. K's aunt E is married to H. A's daughter-in-law D is the mother of K. A's aunt, oh, sorry, A is married to C. D has no siblings, fine. J is the brother of K. So now, my dear students, if you have a look at this, now, my dear students, if you have a look at this, see this. We are not able to determine the gender of C, A and K. We are not able to determine the gender of C, A and K. Okay, everybody? Fine, everyone? Okay? Now, moving ahead. Now, see, this is the same thing. We are not able to determine the gender of C, A and K. C, A and K's gender is not clear. So, in the same manner, we will move ahead. So, Delhi, Topper, Muskan, Sana. Okay, Sam, very good. So now the question is, how is H related to C? So now how is H related to C? If you check very particularly, H is the son-in-law. H is the son-in-law of C. So now these kind of questions are not alone. They come with more sub-questions. How many female members are there in the family? Now see, how many female members are there in the family? You know that they are couples. So out of them, one male and one female you will get from here. Out of them, one male and one female you will get. But who is that male? Who is that female you will not be getting? But certainly one female you will get out of this couple. One another female is over here. One female is over here. But then this is not clear. This is not clear. If this is male, then the number of females will be three. If this is also female, the number of females will be four. So therefore, the answer is cannot be determined. That is the right answer. Very good, Sana Anwar. Keep it up. Very good. The next one. How is D related to C? Please, everybody. Keep on liking and sharing the session. Keep on liking and sharing the session. All right, everybody? Fine. Keep on liking and sharing the session. So how is D related to C? So you can see D is the, D is the daughter-in-law of C. D is the daughter-in-law of C. And that is the correct answer. Okay. But if it would be asked, how is C related to D? If it will be asked, how is C related to D? C female will be father-in-law. C female will be mother-in-law. So father-in-law or mother-in-law. Answer will be cannot be determined. Answer will be cannot be determined. Okay. Now, coming to the next one. Again, 45 seconds plus 45 seconds. Time starts quickly. 45 plus 45 seconds. Time starts quickly, everybody, guys. Quickly, the time is almost over and so now the next thing will be this, another 45 seconds. Quickly everybody.
stamp good sana good so see i can i can see many students they are writing done and i'm very much happy to see that yes you all are performing really well so all of you are the persons who will crack the exam in the days to come and the same performance is expected from you guys undoubtedly the same performance is expected so now see what is happening now danadi is telling i love reasoning i want to become a reasoning staff after selected in government job <laughs> okay now see in a family of six members in a family of six members x is not mother in law why never start with these lines like x is not this x is not that never start with these lines okay now see u is the brother of t t u is the child of x u is the brother of t t is the child of x u is the brother of t t is the child of x now t is the brother in law of y now if t is the brother in law of y t is the brother in law of y y will be like this y will be like this now r is the mother of x r is the mother of x r is the mother of x and x who is x who is married to w x who is married to w now see all the things are set but now here it is telling x is not the mother in law the first of all x is not the mother in law of y does not necessarily means it could be it, it will be father in law only to be very honest x is not mother in law of y means x can be anything other than mother in law anything other than this but here the only thing which is possible is x is father in law okay and therefore this will be mother in law and this is the family tree so 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 persons are there i hope it is very clear fine everybody fine now moving ahead i hope it is very clear i hope it is clear now let us come to the questions so now the first one is very simple who is the mother in law of y so the mother in law of y as you can see is w mother in law is w and that is the right answer option number c that is w very good sana very good muskan sam very good now how is x related to t the next question is how is x related to t so x is related to t as what father x is the father option number c that is father but it's not done we have more questions we have more questions but before that my dear students see i have already discussed with all of you the benefits of our exam per app but obviously you will be able to get the benefits when you are able to download and install the app so here i am telling you the step by step procedure see first of all we are not available at ios so we are sorry for that but from your android mobile phone go to google play store and type over their exam per app the moment you type over exam per app such a kind of interface will appear and then you will be asked to click on the install icon if your internet connectivity is decent if it is good enough it will be installed within couple of minute and then you will be asked to open and now since you are a new user since you are a first time user you will be asked to register via basic details like your name date of birth email password phone number state city and the moment you click on the check box i agree with terms and conditions and submit on register you have registered yourself guys you have registered yourself now the next one solve this one the next question quickly everybody quickly everyone hurry up muskan thank you so much for your words thank you so much muskan dana d sam moses sana anwar i hope all of you are enjoying the session okay the next 45 second i am giving you extra 45 second guys quickly come on quickly everybody let me see who is the first one to write done let me see who is the first one to write done guys come on
very good sam moses very good keep it up keep it up sam moses okay now see uh, it is telling you in a family of seven members in a family of how many seven members now it is telling you who oh, has two sons who oh, has two sons who are they we don't know W is married to M. M who is the sister-in-law of Z. W is married to M. M who is the sister-in-law of Z. So W is married to M. M who is the sister-in-law of Z. So on that ground, this is male. And now it is telling you that O has two sons. So now if I keep O over here, so obviously if this is also a son, if we assume it to be son, O has two sons. Okay, so O has two sons. W is married to M. M who is the sister-in-law of Z. Now S is married to O. My dear students, S is married to her. S is married to her, you can see over here. Now, P is the niece of Z. If P is the niece of Z, so P will be only over here. Now, S is the grandmother of L. If S is the grandmother, if S is the grandmother, obviously this will be grandfather and now L will be somewhere in this row. Now, very important. L who is not the child of M. L who is not the child of M means L will be here. And then Z has a son. Z has a son, so this L is that son, and this is the right one. So I hope that all of you are able to understand this. So Sam Moses is writing done, Muskan is writing done, Sana Anwar is writing done. Very good, guys. Keep it up. Proud of all of you. So now, my dear students, moving ahead. Okay, fine, everybody. Now solve this. Who is the son of Z? Danadi, very good. Keep it up. So now, who is the son of Z? So son of Z, as you can see, is L only, na? Son of Z, as you can see, is L only. The correct answer is option number D, that is L. Now, who is the granddaughter of O? The granddaughter of O, as you can see, is, see, L is grandson. L is grandson, so granddaughter is P. Granddaughter is P, the correct answer is option number C, that is P. Okay, next. Solve the coded format questions, guys. The coded format, okay, time starts quickly. Quickly, everybody, the coded format. So today we are solving all in all type. Pointing to words we have done. Paragraph one we have done. Coded one we have done. All right, everybody. Quickly, everyone. Harish Raghav, very good, very good Harish Raghav, Tana, now see, I hope all of you are able to understand this, so Harish, quickly, Sana, Sam, Muskan, now see what is happening, see what is happening over here. A and B. A and B means A is the son of B. A and B means A is the son of B. Okay. Now B hash C. B hash C means C is the daughter of B. Means C is the daughter of B. So this is the one which is drawn. Now which of the following is true? Which of the following is true? See this is a twist. R hash P means P is the daughter. So B hash C means C is the daughter of B. So now which of the following is true? A being the sister is wrong. B being the father cannot be sad. C is the brother of A wrong. A is the brother of C guys. A is the brother of C. Option number D is right. So option number D is the correct answer. Let us solve more. Let us solve more guys. Quickly the 19th one. The 19th one guys. Quickly. Raghav, Sam, Sana. Quickly everyone. Quickly everybody. Now see, the time is almost over. I want an answer from your end. I want an answer from your end. Okay, take more 45 seconds, but please try to do it as soon as possible. Okay? Good. 
डनडी सैम मोस्तेस सना अनवर हरीश राघव क्विकली एवरी बडी नासी वॉट इज हैपनिंग ओवर हेयर सी वॉट इज हैपनिंग एल हैश के एल हैश के मीन्स अपोजिट एल हैश के मीन्स अपोजिट के इज द डॉटर ऑफ एल के इज द डॉटर ऑफ एल के परसेंटेज बी के परसेंटेज बी मीन्स के इज द वाइफ ऑफ बी के इज द वाइफ ऑफ बी बी एंड आर बी एंड आर मीन्स बी इज द सन ऑफ आर सो दिस इज अ डायग्राम Now, which of the following is not true? Which of the following is not true? K is the daughter of L. It is true. It is true. B is the husband of K. It is true. K is the son-in-law of R. No, not at all. K is the daughter-in-law of R. Correct. So, correct answer. The valid answer is option number C. The correct answer. The valid answer is option number C, and that is the right answer. Okay. Fine. So here the only twist is R has P means P is the daughter of R. That is the point which you have to keep in mind. All right. Here it is asking which is not true. See here it is asking which is not true, guys. Here it is asking which is not true. Please focus on the question which is not true. Okay. Fine, everybody. Next one, the twentieth one, the twentieth one, guys. Please everybody like and share this session. It's extremely important. Okay. No issue. No need to say sorry. No need to say sorry. It happens with anybody who is not, uh, uh, who is in lot of hurry or not taking care. It can happen even with me. Okay. Now see what is happening, guys. Now it is telling you how is. U related to R. So one thing is that you can only draw diagram from R to U. That's your choice. So obviously, R and S. R and S means R is the son of S. R and S means R is the son of S. S has T. S has T means T is the daughter of S. S has T means T is the daughter of S. And T percentage U. T percentage U means T is the wife of U. T percentage U means T is the wife of U. So how is U related to R? U is the brother-in-law. U is the brother-in-law of R. then that is the correct answer all right everybody fine everyone yes or no yes or no my dear students are you all getting this are you all getting this yes or no okay now moving ahead now moving ahead guys the next one solve this one raghav danadi muskan Muskan, what happened? For what you are writing now? See, Muskan is telling. Please explain once more. See, Q percentage R, Q percentage R means Q is the wife of R. Q percentage R means Q is the wife of R. So obviously R is the husband. R and S means R is the son of S. Then S has T. S has T means S has T means T is the daughter of S. T is the daughter of S, and then T percentage U. T percentage U means T is the wife of U. Okay, obviously everybody. So see this. So how is U related to R? U is the brother-in-law. U is the brother-in-law. Okay, fine, Muskan. So I've explained that once more. Now this one. Now this one, guys. Quickly. Quickly, everybody. Now see what is happening over here. Muskan, Sana, Harish, Danadi, Sam Moses, Sana Anwar. Very good. Keep it up. So now what is happening? What is happening over here? B plus D. B plus D means B is the mother of D. B plus D is the B is the mother of D. Now D multiplied by M. D multiplied by M means D is the father of M. D is the father of M. M divided by n. M divided by n means M is the brother of n. M is the brother of n. So now, how is M related to B? M is the grandson. 
M is the grandson. So that is the correct answer. The right answer is option number C. The grandson, the right answer is option number C. All right, everybody. Fine. Now, this one, please solve this one, the 22nd question. Please solve this one, the 22nd question. Quickly, everybody. Similar kind of a question this is. Come on, try and solve this, guys. Niece means the daughter of your brother or sister. So, Harish. The daughter of your brother or sister will be niece. The son of your brother or sister will be nephew. Okay. Now, which of the following represents R is the niece of M? Now, for R being the niece of M, R must be female. So, now see R minus M. R minus M means R is the sister of M. R minus M means R is the sister of M. So, obviously, R cannot be the niece in this case. Okay. Now, check A or B, one of them. Now, see, if you check option number A, it says M divided by K. M divided by K means M is the brother of K. Okay, K multiplied by T. K multiplied by T means K is the father of T. And T minus R. T minus R means T is the sister of R. T minus R means T is the sister of R. So, which of the following means R is the niece of M? Is R the niece of M? No, it's not guaranteed. It's not guaranteed because R's gender is not clear. R's gender is not clear. My dear students, SSC CGSL notification is out and Sanjay sir will be taking the notification session. Okay, just after this. Just after this, and now, my dear students, have a look at this one. Now, if I check option number B, M minus J, M minus J means M is the sister of J. M minus J means M is the sister of J. J plus R, J plus R means J is the mother of R, and R minus N means R is the sister of N. Now, you can see that R's gender is clear, and on that ground, you can very much confirm that R is the niece of M, and that is why option B is the right answer. Now, this is going to be your homework okay this question is going to be your home exercise you will solve this and you will answer it at the comment box okay everybody so you will solve this and you will answer it at the comment box yes my dear students so please solve this and answer it at the comment box okay and now very important guys very very important have a look at this we have launched ssc chsl notification is out now since the ssc chsl notification is out so here it is the SSC CHSL Safalta Batch for the notification of 2022 in English medium, wherein you will be provided 450 plus hours of live classes, live foundation classes, class PDFs, daily practice paper, mock test series, sectional test, previous year papers. This batch is priced at rupees 2799. And after using the code SSC50, you will be getting a flat 50% off, flat 50% discount, guys. So please do not forget to avail this offer. And my dear students, you must be willing to know your faculty members. So here is Sanjay sir, your faculty for maths. Me, that is Ankit Sharma, faculty for reasoning. Juhi ma'am, faculty for English. Deep Mani sir, faculty for science. Ankit Malviya sir, for history and polity. Then Milan sir, for current affairs and geography. Then Devendra sir, for economics and static GK. These are your faculty members, guys, who will ensure that you are able to crack the exam. Finally, if you want to purchase the app, go to, if you want to purchase the batch, go to the Google Play Store, download our app. From there, under the paid course column, under the paid course column, guys, you have to go and select SSC. Okay? Then in that, you have to select the English batch. You have to apply the code SSC50 to get 50% discount the moment you make the payment. And this thank you message appears. You are done. And now you can avail the benefits. My dear students, this is how we will be moving ahead. Thank you, everybody. And stay tuned for the much, much awaited session on the notification. And yes, again, there is a surprise. We will catch you sooner now. Thank you, everybody. Have a great day.